He was the first of the great Hollywood stars, debuting in the silent era of the studios as Zorro and Robin Hood. Millions of people who rushed to American movie theatres as movie-going became the country's preoccupation admired Douglas Fairbanks. However, the silent star had a lot to say behind the scenes, much of it to entice the several ladies he lusted for in a turbulent existence that would make those of today's stars appear mild. When his love letters to his wife Mary Pickford were discovered, they were the first to captivate moviegoers as much as, if not more than, the stories of the movies they rushed to see. There was a king in early Hollywood. He had a queen as his wife. She was a golden girl by the name of Mary. He was handsome, incredibly agile and youthful, but most of all young. The young was fundamental to the king and was also extremely American. The world was enthralled at the moment by Fairbanks's relationship with Pickford. The lady named America's sweetheart had discovered the guy labelled everybody's hero. It would be inaccurate to compare them to the Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie of their day in terms of catching the public's interest in them. Not only were they the biggest stars of their era, but they were also the biggest stars the entire world had ever seen. Their renown grew at the same time as movies became more popular with both middle-class and working-class people. Only Charlie Chaplin, one of Fairbanks' closest friends, attained greater recognition throughout their lives as a result of growing audiences for movies. Fairbanks was certain the ladies' man with his toned body, charming grin and a good sense of humour. He didn't drink or smoke, and his sole vice was ladies. Every female who left the set was pursued by him. But this time it appeared that Pickford had earned his affection, and their illicit relationship started off in earnest. Fairbanks had already made the transfer from Broadway to Hollywood at this point, and had agreed to a hitherto unheard of $225,000 compensation per picture. Fairbanks and Pickford had illicit encounters, but frequently corresponded via letter, sharing details of their ups and downs, remorse and raptures. Pickford and Fairbanks resorted to dressing up for their tryst rendezvous, donning floppy hats and beards out of dread of being discovered. Their union lasted a lifetime, or at least fifteen years, by Hollywood standards. They served as living evidence of America's enduring faith in happy endings. The romance had ended by 1927 because something had changed between the two of them. There was no longer any intimacy, genuine grins or unconscious warmth and trust had been destroyed. Fairbanks' grin never again appeared real after their divorce, and he became wary and reduced. Click here to watch this video next!